So uh, this will be part two of a three-part series uh, about the aides who Trump says, don't you tell Congress anything. Anyway, if you like the video, I hope you do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Wow. Cool. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is part two of a three-part series of uh, the Trump aides who he says, don't you go to uh, Congress and tell them what you know. So this will be, this one, in fact, will be a former fence, Defense Department official, Cash Patel, the guy with the big eyes, and I'll tell you what I know about him, or what a wiki. Here we go, Cash Patel. And uh, what do I know about Cash Patel? As a matter of fact, my, um, oh, here we go. So former Defense Department official, Cash Patel. Uh, his name is actually one of those long, uh, sort of difficult names, so I'll try to get it, is Keshap Pramod Patel, born February 25th of 1980. He's an attorney and served as the Chief of Staff to the Acting U.S. Secretary of Defense under number 45. Uh, he worked at the uh, U.S. National Security Council and the U.S. House of Representatives and was previously a federal public defender and federal prosecutor and a legal liaison to the U.S. Armed Forces. Uh, he was born in Garden City, New York, in 19, and in 1970, his parents immigrated to the U.S. from East Africa via Canada. He graduated from the University of Richmond in 2002 and got a Juris Doctor from, the, from Pace University School of Law in 2005, also a Certificate in International Law from University College London. He was a public defender in Florida for eight years, representing clients charged with felonies, international drug trafficking, murder, firearms violations, and uh, bulk cash smuggling. All very handy for Trump's, uh, you know, compadres. Uh, 2014, as a trial attorney in the U.S. Department of Justice, he was a liaison to the Joint Special Operations Command and was embedded at a secure facility. Uh, and in 2015, he received a commendation from the CIA. 2017, he was a senior counsel on counterterrorism at the House Select Committee on Intelligence. Uh, he lives in D.C., and uh, 2014, he was going to participate in a bachelor auction of very handsome lawyers, but withdrew after a blogger revealed that his former his Florida law license was um, out of date. So that's Cash Patel. Let's see what the cards say. Okay, so these are the Book of Toth, Le Livre de Toth by um, Detalier, whose name is actually uh, was actually I. Aliette, I think. So this is France. This is back in the mid uh, 1700s. And uh, Book of Toth is uh, the problem. The thing with these cards is that they don't uh, decipher like the typical Rider Waite cards do. Rider Waite cards. But uh, these are beautiful, but I mean, they're cryptic. So you've got to be comfortable in the divinations you're going to use for these. Um, so I don't use them very much, to tell you the truth. But I thought they'd be good for this. And, of course, this is just a good time to spread them out so you can see the cards, you know, what they look like, uh, and uh, get a feel for what this deck's going to be like in just a minute. And uh, maybe you're going to uh, shoot some of your energy uh, across the uh, airwaves into this reading. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, so these are great cards. I like them. But they are hard to use if you don't use them every day, I think. Okay, Cash. Cash Patel. What is in the cards for you, my friend? Cash Patel, Cash Patel. What is in the cards for you? Cash Patel. Um, three questions. First one's going to be, will you turn over the, the documents they want? Um, will you testify? And then will there be a legal consequence? So, Cash Patel, this question is going to be, will you turn over the documents? that they're looking for. Oh, these cards don't want to cooperate. That's interesting. You know, he's an attorney, so he may be the one who thinks 
that he can uh, fight this. Cash Patel, will you turn over the documents? And he spent a, a, a big part of his career defending, you know, hardened, serious criminals for the for the government. But still, you learn a lot about how criminals operate if you're defending them. Cash Patel, will you turn over the documents? Three cards. One, two, all right, Cash Patel, will you be turning over some documents, buddy? Okay, as I just started to turn over the cards. So the first card for that is the Nine of Coins. So I'm going to clear my mind. Okay, so the Nine of Coins is very fruitful. Okay, this, is, uh, this card uh, depicts uh, an abundance of value, of uh, knowledge, of money, of worth. So we don't know what that means yet, but that's what the Nine of Coins depicts. The next card for this is going to be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of Wands. Okay, the Seven of Wands is uh, typically de depicted in the Rider Waite deck. You may remember the image of uh, this fellow up on a cliff. He's holding a wand and he's fending off six wands that are poking up at him from from below somehow. So this Seven of Wands is defending all those actions, all that, uh, and wands are uh, actions, uh, motion, uh, plans. So this is defending uh, all of those plans. This is very interesting. The third card in this then is the, uh, what are you, the Queen of Cups. Queen, no, yeah, the Queen, the Queen of Cups, on, on blonde, the Queen of Cups. Are you the Queen? This is a Queen, this is not a King. Home makes me think of a um, of a man. You know, and I don't really speak French. Roy the Cook. Oh yeah, this is the King of Cups. Okay, so this is the King of Cups. The King of Cups. The Cups are uh, passions, emotions. Uh, the King is is you know the one who's controlling all of those emotions. So this is very interesting. I'm believing that this is speaking to um, Cash Patel. And what does he have? He has an abundance of worth. Okay. He's going to fight with this uh, seven as a seven of wands to defend himself against these actions. Uh, this king of cups, I'm not sure if this is cash as the king of emotions, but since this has been talking about him, I have to say this may be him too, and I may want to draw a few more cards. Uh, let's see how this pans out. One more card for will you turn over those documents. Um, okay, this is the six of cups. The six of cups is typically sort of remembering how things were, remembering things in a better time, in a better place. I'm going to make this into a dyadic cross. Okay, and to do that, I need to put these in the order that they would have been drawn. So this has been the signifier being that he's got lots of value. The challenge to that is defending himself against all these actions. The base of this, okay, now see it starts to make sense, is that he um, has a very compassionate, he's, he's, he's the king of his uh, emotions here. And then the past of this reading is, uh, uh, yeah, wanting things to be the way they were. Um, is this speaking to his knowledge of how he could defend those uh, federal, uh, federally prosecuted criminals? That was a big part of his career, defending uh, criminals, big time criminals, of, uh, against the government. That was his job for the government. He was working for them. You know, how they appoint you a prosecutor. The sky of this reading, then, will you turn over the documents? Ah. Okay, so the sky of this is the Ace of Swords. This is truth, justice, rules, law. This is what's going to rule this reading. And the likely outcome of all of this, will you turn over those documents? Ah, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords. The nine of swords is really uh, feeling embattled, but I'm going to look again at my cheat sheet just because I'm so excited. Suffering, depression, get nightmares, hopelessness. Yep, you will. This is uh, uh, typically depicted in the right weight system as a fellow laying down on the bed with nine swords stacked up above him, just uh, showing you that what a nightmare all of this is. So this will be a nightmare for him to defend. And so, yeah, he's going to turn over all these documents. I'll say it again. So the signifier card is the nine of pentacles. That's the value that he thinks he is. Okay. He thinks he can do this. Um, the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of uh, wands is defending himself against all these actions. 
down here is the uh, king of uh, compassion. So this is how he sees himself also as being this compassionate uh, king who will have the, you know, the to, to defend himself. Uh, the past of this reading is at some point wishing things were, ah, I, I wish this had stayed the way it was. Uh, in the sky of this is truth and justice will prevail. And the likely outcome is that this is just a nightmare for him. Yeah, he's going to turn over those documents and it'll be a fight, it looks like. I don't know if you'll see the fight, but that's how it looks. Now, the next question is going to be, uh, will he uh, appear before the committee? So, Cash Patel, will you appear before the committee? Cash Patel, will you appear before that committee? Cash Patel, will you appear before that committee? Okay, three cards. One, two, three. Cash Patel, will you appear before that committee? Okay. First card off the bat, two of cups. These are uh, partnerships. Okay. That kind of says yes. Next card over this is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of cups, which is um, really a, a, a font of compassionate. Uh, I want to say information. It's just coming to my lips. So two cups, two cards of cups there. And the uh, third uh, card for this is, uh, this is the Hermit. Oh, no, this is the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Page of Wands is the fellow who brings a message to court. The January 6th committee being the court, this wand being the actions, the uh, plans, the information. And so, yeah, he will be appearing before the court. Wow, I love this. So the next um, drawing for this is I want to know is will he eventually pay some sort of a legal consequence? Well, Cash Patel, Cash Patel, will you pay a legal consequence? Cash Patel, will you pay a legal consequence? Three cards. One, two, and three. Cash Patel. Legal consequence. Is that what's in the cards for you, buddy? Let's see. First card out of there is the uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of cups. So this is a lot of emotion. You know, just an over abundance of, of emotion. So that's interesting. Could be compassion. Second card out of there is um, oh, this is the card that's so strange to me. Okay. Um, Plantis. Okay, so this is a wealth of, of of knowledge, is what this is. Huh. Very interesting. This doesn't have a counterpart in the Rider Waite system. So this is a wealth of knowledge. And uh, this is uh, fruitful. Okay. Uh, let's leave it at that. And that's number three. If this is, in fact, the three of coins, which it's not, because it doesn't mention coins in any of these, um, in any of this right here. So this is just um, interesting. Okay, if this were in the right away system, the number three would be the empress, who's very fruitful, and this number three is talking about you know the, the productivity of, of plant life. So huh. the last card in this one, uh, force majeure. Oh, the devil! Interesting. So the devil. I'm going to, this is interesting, will you have to pay a price? Let's take one more card. Uh, will you have to pay some sort of a legal consequence? Ah, this is um, the, the, the sky, the seal. Okay, so this is not a coin. This is like the, uh, a universe. And this is number four. So this is empowering. And it kind of ma mates with me with this number three over here. Will you pay a legal consequence? I'm just going to uh, throw it out there and say yes. So this spread is telling me that the, as far as will he pay a legal consequence, he there's a font of emotions, or it could be compassion, or it could be emotion. If he's going to pay a legal consequence, that'd be he'd be very emotional. If he's uh, not going to pay a legal consequence, this would be a lot of compassion. This number two tells me this is very fruitful. Ah, you know what? He may be able to make some sort of a deal to turn over what he knows, making because he's making made a deal with the devil, and so now he will use that evil. Um, uh, gotten information to uh, save himself with this four. Uh, yeah, that's with this sky card. Yep.
That's what I see. So he may uh, lessen his uh, penalty by making some sort of a deal, I think, in that regard. So that's what I've got for Mr. Cash Patel. So that's what I have on Cash Patel. Tell me what you think, and um, we'll go on to number three for the next video. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.